Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll be teaching you how to organize your components. In our last video, we learned how to create and use basic components. We also learned that components can be found in the Components tab at the bottom of the Layers panel, which can be accessed using the Option 2 keyboard shortcut. In this example, we've created a few more components in our file. If we return to the Components tab, we can see that they all appear together. With only three components, this is still easy to navigate, but let's discuss best practices to keep these organized as we continue to create more. Two of these are buttons, so let's start by grouping those similar components together. We can do this by creating a new frame on our canvas using the F shortcut, which we will rename to buttons. Now we can select our two button components and move them into our new frame. When we return to the components tab, we will see our buttons organized in a newly created section named buttons. Let's do the same for our last remaining component by creating a new frame. This time, let's click and drag the frame over the existing component. We'll name this frame Cards. If we return to the Components tab, we now have two sections, Cards and Buttons. Notice these sections and the components are ordered alphabetically. By using pages within the same file, we can add an additional layer of organizational hierarchy in the Components tab. Here, we have similar components on another page. Our first page is named Orange Theme, and our second is named Blue Theme. We can see this additional grouping reflected in the Components tab. Organizing our components by type can help us navigate and find our components quickly. Figma allows for you to create components anywhere in a file, but by keeping our master components on a separate page of our design, we can have all components in one place and we don't risk losing track of them. Some of our components are a bit hard to see on the white background of the thumbnail. If we change the color of their containing frame, we can make them easier to see. Let's change these to a darker gray color. When it comes to naming your components, there is no right or wrong way, but we do have a tip to make your life a little bit easier. We previously grouped similar components in a frame to keep them organized in the Components tab. We can do something similar when naming our components to help organize them elsewhere in our file. Right now, our two buttons are named Primary Button and Secondary Button. Let's rename those to Button slash Primary and Button slash Secondary, respectively. When we follow this slash naming convention for our components, Figma will automatically create a parent category named Button, which will contain our two buttons, Primary and Secondary, in the Instance Swapping menu. This menu is used for when you want to swap an instance with a different instance. Check out our video on instance swapping to learn more. Let's review what we've learned today. Organize similar components in a frame with a short but descriptive name. Change the frame's background color to change the thumbnail in the Components tab. Keep track of your components by putting them on the same page of your file. If you have master components on multiple pages, they will be organized by page. Use the slash naming convention to organize the instance swapping menu.